So friends, welcome to part 47. We are looking at real questions. Please click the join button, become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja member to gain access to many more certification content. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Believe me, it will help you with certifications. You will clear certifications. A lot of people have used it. Now let us jump to the questions. You want to set up a master payer account. Which one should you use? Let's look at options, budgets. This will help you with planning and cost control, but it will not help you set up the payer account, master payer account. So A is wrong, Macy is also wrong. The reason is it is used for sensitive data discovery. So if you have a S3 bucket and you have lot of documents with SSN number, Aadhaar number, etc. put there. So what will happen is discovery will, uh, Macy will scan through it and identify which documents has your PII that is personal information. Here we don't have that requirement. We have to set up just a master payer account. That's why this is wrong. C is a BI tool of AWS QuickSight. So this will help you create reports on data sources, but it will not help you with uh, any sort of master payer account. So we are left with one answer that is organizations. This will help you with setting up master payer account. This is the whole purpose is account management. It is an account management service. So in cloud practitioner certification exam, you will be quizzed around this so that they want to check whether you have knowledge about each and every service or not. So this is the final answer. We will lock this move forward. Let us jump to the next question. Which service will help you with sending text and email messages? Only one service. This one, SNS. This is a push notification service, pub sub service. You can send emails, messages. You will have to subscribe to the SNS topic and then the push notifications will be sent. And what about SES? This is wrong. SES, it is a simple email service. It will not send messages, only emails. It is not used for push notifications. Then we have CloudWatch alerts. This is wrong because if there is a problem with any metrics, then this alarm will be triggered. What are the metrics? For example, CPU utilization is close to 90%. Storage is close to 80%. Such kind of metrics alarm will be sent. Now SQS, this is a loose coupling solution. It is a queuing service which is used with microservice based architecture. So the way it works is it will be plugged between the producer and the consumer. The producer sends some data. SQS will have this messages in the queue and it has options to encrypt it also. And consumer, even if the consumer is down, SQS will maintain the data. Once consumer comes up, it will send the data or consumer can pull the data from SQS. So this would be my final answer, SNS. Let us look at the next question. This question is asking, what does autoscaling help you with? Autoscaling is about what? Elasticity. Because it scales up, scales down. It is just like your elastic of your underwear. You become fat, still you can wear the same underwear for some time because the elastic will scale up, stretch. If you were a fat guy and you become thin because of some motivation in 2023, a lot of people are saying, oh, we will go to the gym. This is January month, right? So the gyms are full. February onwards, it will not be full. February onwards, people will come to the reality. So in that case, if a fat guy is becoming thin, it will scale down also. So the elastic will go down also and you can still wear it. So this would be my final answer because auto scaling is all about elasticity. What does high availability mean? It means that even if one instance goes down, the other instance is still up. That means the system would be up the maximum amount of time. What is reliability? That means the system is reliable. Anything happens, disaster happens, etc. But the system is still reliable. Global reach is like not only people in Europe can access it. Even in North America, they can access it. Even in India, they can access it. That is a global reach. For example, Netflix, they have global reach. Uber, they have global reach. Hope you found these videos informative. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not yet. Believe me, it will help you with a lot of certification content. Tons of people have passed using these contents. Please click the join button if you are not a member. Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja member. It will give you access to a lot more many questions. These are all real questions. Please remember, focus on the concepts. You can get same or similar questions in the exam, but focus on the concept. See you in the next part.